The Henry Ford Museum of American Innovations, Greenfield Village, and the Ford Rouge Factory. Of those three, in this vlog, I'm going to be keying on historic Greenfield Village. And as you can see here, it really is like an early American village. What an exciting place to visit complete with a village green. As a raison d'etre of Greenfield Village, we again go to a quote of Henry Ford. We ought to know more about the families who founded this nation and how they lived. One way to do this is to reconstruct as nearly as possible the conditions under which they lived, and that's what was done at Greenfield Village. Greenfield Village, a collection of nearly 100 historic buildings on a 200-acre site in Dearborn, Michigan, established in 1933 by industrialist Henry Ford, who relocated or reconstructed buildings there from throughout the United States, including the homes, birthplaces, or workplaces of many famous people, as you can see on the list. Highlights in the historic district are working farms, Liberty Craftworks, and Henry Ford's Model T district. Enter through these gates into an amazing world of American past. <laughs> A good way to start is to buy a ticket on the train that goes around the circumference of Greenfield Village. Here in Ford, Michigan, the farm owns the birthplace of Henry Ford, one of the greatest industrial figures of the 20th century. Mr. Ford was born in the house on July 30th, 1863. Just ahead, Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory, where he invented the microphone, the phonograph, the electric incandescent light bulb and hundreds of other patented electric inventions. One of the many interesting spots you can visit while you're here. Thomas you're Edison's the area, don't miss a workshop to right over, over there. Medicine. We're now approaching the Susquehanna Station uh, in the Porches and Parlors District. If you're leaving the train here, please make sure you have all your belongings with you. Don't forget anything. Remember your wrist thing, your hand stamp will get you back on the train. Saturday and Sunday. It's a great way to have an early uh, beginning to your Halloween season. Is it safe to take a video of a carousel, one of his, one of America's institutions? Well, it's safe to take a video of a carousel when there. Are no kids on it, like this one. The John Bennett Jewelry Shop, which was a much-loved landmark on a London, England street. A view of Main Street in Greenfield Village, as you can see, it's very busy. And off to the left, a historic house. You know, Heinz ketchup that we all like? This was H.J. Heinz, the ketchup guy. With the inscription, here we began, 1869. Hey, that reminds me, I used to have a part-time job, a summer job at the H.J. Heinz Company in Leamington, Ontario, 250 years ago. Do you remember from last week's vlog, uh, Kitty Hawk and the very first flight? Well, those were the Wright brothers, Orville and uh, Orville and uh, Orville and, uh, and Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur. Yes, they lived here in this house, in this house right here. Now, you may not have known this, but the Wright brothers didn't build airplanes forever. Uh, well, they started out here in this uh, cycle shop in uh, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, right here. Another piece of the puzzle here. 
We learned that after two failed attempts, Henry Ford succeeded in the automotive business with Ford Motor Company. This building is modeled after the company's first factory located on Mack Avenue in Detroit. Workers built several early vehicle types here starting in 1903. They soon outgrew this factory and moved to a larger building on Piquet Avenue in Detroit where the Model T was built. That was vlog number 51. And if you want to spend a little more money, you can go for a ride in the old Tin Lizzie here. That's the Model T. Right here, your own tour of Greenfield Village in a Model T. Industrial age, of course, was characterized by tools, machines, and uh, here we have some lathes and other what we would now consider primitive machinery. But my father was a tool and die maker, a die sinker, actually. And, uh, well, the uh, machines he operated were a lot more sophisticated than this. But this is a peek back at how people used to work. Sort of reminds me of myself uh, during university when I had a part-time job working on a punch press. Of course, there was a time when circuses were a major form of entertainment as we see here but what i was looking for actually is on this sign here edison at work edison's a big deal here in greenfield village thomas alva edison genius is one percent inspiration and 99 percent perspiration henry ford greatly admired thomas edison edison inspired ford in his own inventions and his own life Edison, by the way, lived from 1847 to 1931. And we all know what Edison was famous for. Stay tuned. I never did anything by accident, nor did any of my inventions come by accident. They came by work. Thomas Edison, inventor. We're about to see a replication of uh, Edison's Menlo Park complex in New Jersey. He had a goal of one major invention every six months and a minor one every ten days. And he was such a genius that he achieved, for the most part, those goals. And just in case you don't know, Thomas Edison was the inventor of the light bulb. Wow, turning night into day, Thomas Edison. And here is the phonograph invented by Edison. He actually invented this before the light bulb. <laughs> it was during this explanation that I found out that uh, Thomas Edison also invented the motion camera. There'd be no YouTube without the motion camera. But it is the collective successes he had here as a very young man that have so dramatically changed our world forever. Those successes that still touch our lives every day, they happen right here. Thomas Edison, the man who lit up the world. For those of you on the other side of the world who may not be familiar with this, but uh, we're approaching October 31st, which is Halloween Day. And uh, that's the second biggest holiday after Christmas, and people put these decorations and pumpkins and whatever else, Halloween. And here is the clapboard house where Henry Ford grew up. And Henry Ford's schoolhouse. Fronted by this garish sculpture of pipes and birds. Every early American village had a village green, and Greenfield Village is no exception, with some classic American architecture and the American church, at least American church architecture you see so often right there. <laughs> Join me next Friday on what will probably be the last episode in Detroit as America's Great Comeback City. Or this may have been the last episode of what has been...
a 53-part discovery tour of Detroit, at least for myself. Thank you to uh, any viewers who participated in any part of that journey. 